that was the face of me looking to see if the recording was recording because this is the face of me <clears throat> that is recording this makeup tutorial for the second time. So I'm really glad you're here. Let's not waste any more time. So recording, great. My skin is already prepped and ready to go because <laughs> in another really fun twist of reality, uh, apparently my emails haven't been working for, I don't know, most of the week. So I spent, um, you know, four hours today figuring that out. And guess what? It was a simple fix. It took two minutes once I figured it out. Great. Let's get going. We're going to start with eyebrows because that's where I like to start. And normally I would probably do um, a really light brow with this look, but I am also fresh out of my <laughs> light brow pencil. So we'll go with medium because it's a little bit darker than what I normally would use. I'm just going to use a little bit different technique. So all I'm going to do, brush my brows up. Now I had a little um, brow Man, I sound like Debbie Downer today. Wah, wah. I had a little brow mishap. Um, uh, basically, I trimmed my brows quite too short. This one worse than this one. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've had to do a little bit more work than normal anyway. But all I'm going to do, instead of filling them, kind of normally I kind of shape them and fill them with my light brow pencil. And sometimes I'll go over it with something else. I'm really only going to fill the sparse parts with... Um, hair like strokes and I'm just going to make sure that I'm going in the direction that my hairs grow. So I'm just kind of paying attention to that. And then anytime I do this, I typically will just brush through them to soften it up. This is my good eyebrow, so this one will behave much better than my challenging one right here. Okay, let's go. Like there's just a straight hole right there. It's fine. We're gonna lock this in with a brow gel because apparently my eyebrows get bedhead during the middle of the day. Like what is going on here? I'm going to use my kind of go-to eyeshadow palette that looks like this. These four colors, uh, you know, a vanilla white color, rose gold, mauve, and kind of a warm brick brown. Brown. It's brown. Start with a base, either an eyeshadow primer. I'm using a concealer, kind of a, a thicker cream concealer. So the eyeshadow has something to stick to. Start with this color. This is up at the brow bone. Pat it right in from the crease to the brow bone. So this more or less sets that primer or concealer here. So when you put your crease color on, it's going to allow it to be a little bit darker in the crease because there's no powder there yet. And then it's going to allow it to blend nicely into the brow bone. So even though you can't see it, it does have a purpose. I'm going to grab a fluffy shadow brush and we're going to put this mauve color in the crease. And the key here is to blend it up to the brow bone so you don't see where that light color starts and the pink color stops. It all just kind of blends into each other. You could continue to use the same brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of a smaller brush just because it's easier. And now we're going to use that dark brown. And I'm going to stamp that right into the lash line. Get it nice and dark right at the lash line. 
and just under the corner, outer corner of my eye. And then we're gonna blend into the crease just a little way. And lastly, we're gonna use this rose gold color I'm going to clean up under the eyes just a little bit. I'm going to be using this blue eyeliner pencil. It's a gel eyeliner pencil. It's got a navy blue on this side and a rose gold on this side. And we're going to start with top lining the top lashes. Tight lining is a great way to get a really crisp, precise line without taking up lid space. It's really, really great for uh, hooded eyes. And then we're going to line the lower lashes. I'm going to kind of be sloppy about it because once I've got them lined, I'm going to use a little liner brush here and smoke it out just a little bit. How much you smoke this out is really up to you. The more you smoke it down, the more it's going to appear that it's blue. But I also like to tight line this to the waterline when I'm done. Right, now we're gonna do some foundation. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on complexion today, but I will tell you um, something that I do a lot of, and that is, I, I have oily skin. If you have dry skin, this might not work as well for you, but if, you're, if your makeup is breaking down during the day from oil production or sweat, try putting your setting spray on before your foundation. I'm using my big fluffy fan brush, which is kind of my favorite way to apply foundation when I want it to be light and like, I want the coverage to be good, but I don't want it to be heavy. Oh. <sighs> Easy there, slugger, don't poke yourself in the eye. I'm going to use Lime Life's Glow Drops in Rose because um, so this is kind of a pinky highlight color. Okay, so I've got my foundation on. Like I said, I am oily. It's currently hot outside. I have to take extra steps so my makeup doesn't break down. So one other thing that I do is before I add my setting powder, I will, in my T-zone, this is where I get super oily, just make sure I blot any excess oil from my skin that might be from my skin or from the makeup. And then I will do setting spray again. And now I can get away with a pretty light dusting of setting powder because sweating through setting powder is not cute. I'm just going to do a little bronzer today. I haven't been wearing blush lately. 
I don't know why. Where am I at? We are moving on to mascara. Y'all, I have been seeing this TikTok trend where people are dipping their mascara wands into loose setting powder and then dipping them in the mascara to make their lashes thicker. And I'm just saying, you are gonna ruin your mascara doing that. Let me show you a little bit better way to get that same kind of idea without ruining your mascara. Take just a, any kind of, a, of an eyeshadow brush and get a little bit of your setting powder on it. Put your mascara on and then kind of brush your lashes with the powder and then add another coat of mascara. And you can do this as many times as you want. But this way you're not shoving a bunch of setting powder into your mascara. Again, this isn't something that I do every day, but I find that when I'm not wearing lashes, it really helps my lashes, my natural lashes, appear quite a bit thicker. So the lip color I wore yesterday with this, I actually didn't love, but I'm going to do it again because they liked it on Instagram. <sighs> you gotta give the people what they want, right? Okay, so I'm using kind of a cool, purpley nude uh, liquid lipstick. And then I'm gonna take my concealer, put a little on my finger, and I'm gonna dab it right in the center. And then I'm gonna take a nude lip gloss and add it to the outer edge. All right, let me go fix my hair. And here's the final look put together. You know, it's only taken three days in the making. I'm gonna hurry up and try to edit this so I can get it posted yet this week as I promised to my Facebook page. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. Does this help you feel a little bit more confident wearing a colored liner? So le also let me know in the comments if there's anything you would like me to teach you. I specialize in teaching makeup techniques for women over 30, over 40. And I'd love to show you some things that might help you feel more confident with makeup. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It has been a real honor to watch this channel grow. I am so excited that it looks like this actually filmed. It, it, it recorded the whole way. Good, good news. Till next time.